Is Ronel Blanco a must-add after his no-hitter? Find out next on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT in 5 on Tuesday, April 2nd. I am Frank Stanfield, joined by Scott White. And let's talk about Ronel Blanco, who threw a no-hitter in his eighth career start. Seven strikeouts, 20 swinging strikes on 105 pitches. Scott, he is just 19% rostered on CBS. Is Blanco a must-add pitcher? Well, I don't know that in the most shallow leagues, the shallowest leagues, you could justify dropping your worst player for him because there are a lot of unknowns here. We don't know who Justin Verlander is going to replace when he comes off the I.L. Uh, It's not like Ronel Blanco was this big prospect breaking through here. He's 30 years old. Having said that, I would really like to add Ronel Blanco if there's a, a, a pitcher I could justify dropping because I don't think this was... Totally fluky. I mean, I'm not saying he's going to throw another no-hitter because those are rare, but just look at what Ronel Blanco was doing this spring. In his 15 and two-thirds innings, he struck out 18. That's impressive enough. Six hits in 15 and two-thirds innings. I made the comparison late in spring training that Ronel, I said Ronel Blanco had some characteristics similar to Christian Javier. Maybe he could do a poor man's Christian Javier thing. And part of what I meant there was his ability to prevent hits because he's a fly ball pitcher with good bat missing characteristics. In fact, the time we saw Ronel Blanco in the majors last year, he had a 15.7% swinging strike rate, which is elite. Now, it was only a strikeout per inning, so it didn't add up to a big strikeout total. But if you're getting that many swings and misses, you have the capacity for strikeouts, clearly. Also like Christian Javier, particularly early in Javier's career, Blanco has some control issues, and that's the biggest downside for him is, you know, it's going to be four walks per nine or more. It's going to be difficult for him to be an impact fantasy player. But the bottom line is uh, with with his secondary pitches, the slider, and especially the changeup, which he's throwing a lot more than when we've seen Ronel Blanco in the past, there does seem to be an, a, an ability to prevent hits here. And with the Astros offense backing him, that could lead to pretty good fantasy production. And by the way, to bring up the Verlander point again, JP France is also in the Astros rotation. So I don't see why the Astros couldn't send him down instead. Scott, who would you rather have, Ronel Blanco or Tanner Houck, who also looked awesome on Monday night? Six shutout innings with 10 strikeouts. It was against the Oakland A's, but we saw some great things here from Tanner Houck. Who would you rather have? It's very, very close because I think Houck was dominant enough in this start that he's not going to slip by anybody either. You can't leave him out there to pick him up later, probably. I'll lean slightly toward Hauk because I think the bat ki- missing characteristics are very strong there too, and he has a firmer grip on the rotation spot. So slight edge to Hauk, but I like them both. And we're not taking any of those two over Jared Jones, Flaherty, Gavin Stone, or Crochet, right? Uh, yeah, I don't think you can do that. Maybe you can drop a Kenta Maeda. Maybe you could drop a James Paxton. But those other pitchers who we were excited to add off waivers already... They are, in my mind, even more promising than than Blanco and Hauk. Let's wrap up talking about an outfielder, Jose Siri, who had a, another big game here on Monday, two for three with his first home run. He did attempt another stolen base, but he was caught stealing. That comes after three steals this past weekend. He's only 29% rostered on CBS. And surprisingly, Scott, only 35% on Yahoo. I know those are daily head-to-head category leagues. Jose Siri feels like a player who might excel in that format. I'm not saying he needs to be rostered in all head-to-head points leagues, but I think Jose Siri needs to be rostered in at least every category league. You know what's fu- he missed some time with injuries last year. And I don't think we look at the 25 home runs he hit, and we I don't think we really take into account he only played 101 games. So significant power upside. Jose Siri's already showed showed that. And he set a goal this spring of stealing 30 bases. He's certainly fast enough to. He said he wants to do that. Uh, you know, players can 
make predictions and all kinds of stats and we can take it as seriously as we want. But I think stolen bases is, is, is maybe the one stat that we can take it most seriously uh, about. And that's because it's largely a matter of intent. It's not just how fast you are. It's how often you choose to run. And we're seeing that Jose Siri has that intent early on. He may strike out so much that the batting average is awful, but there might be 25, 25, even 30, 30 upside here. And in any kind of categories league, but especially those five outfielder leagues, I think that is plenty of justification to, to make sure Siri is rostered. All right. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we will be back again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 